Louis XIV in all his royal splendor. A cloak in velvet lined in ermine, the quintessence of French majesty. Like the men and women of his court, the Sun King needed to shine, for dress was a language of political power. From the time of Louis XIV onward, there has been a desire to have the king appear in uniform, in a costume that absolutely dazzles. It was a way to rule, to show that one was above all others, that one was the most extraordinary, the most brilliant, the most daring. Coronations, marriages, court ceremonies, an army of artisans in France was enlisted to craft one-of-a-kind pieces for all occasions. We know the king changed dress several times a day and that there were specific moments for each outfit. The morning when he wore a special dressing gown, since the king's waking up ceremony was public. Next there was a very important moment, mass, when he was expected to wear a brilliant outfit so he could be seen from far away. And then the third moment of the day was the hunt. The Versailles style took Europe's courts by storm. From the so-called grand habit of ladies to the three-piece men's suit, French style became de rigueur, as seen here in a gown from the coronation of Sweden's Prince Sophie Madeleine. We know that the grand habits for ceremonies cost between 1,000 and 3,000 pounds. The court robe of the Duchess of Polignac cost 3,000 pounds. By comparison, the annual budget of a family of weavers with two children was 345 pounds. Eight years of a family's toil for the cost of a precious gown, some of which were worn only once. Artistry to make social hierarchy visible. With the king, the most dazzling of them all.